being as a data scientist representing result like this which containing large number in it is not very intuitive even model training time like this is not in readable format to convert this into human readable format you either need to write a separate code or need to generate a result separately but you can save yourself from doing some extra effort there is a great python package called humanize which i am personally using for past 2 years where you can easily achieve same in very less effort let's take a brief overview for that let's start by installing the python package type pip install humanize let's get quick handy import the humanize to convert to very large number to human readable format use int word function execute the cell and here it give me the readable format of the large number that is 1.3 billion you can easily convert integer to its word format and pass the number let's say i'm passing 7 it will return the word 7 which is associated with its integer format sometime we also need to represent the number into comma separated format like let's say uh, 1000 it's like 130 just like that for that you have to use int comma and pass the number and it will separate out by three digit you can even apply the specific format on your number and also clamp the value by using cell and floor you have to use clamp function define the number let's say i'm defining very small number and also pass the floor value in this case 0 0.01 this number is very smaller than the floor value in that case the floor value will be returned and if we modify the value greater than the floor value it will return the what so the number is you can even customize the output format just pass the format you want in the format keyword let's say i want the format in percentage form here it returning the output in the percentage 10 percent similarly you can do same for cell as well just replace the floor with the cell keyword here it will represent one percent the logic of cell here is completely opposite to the floor so if the number is larger than the cell value then the respective limit will be returned and if the number is smaller than the cell value then the number is returned in that case if you see the number is greater than the cell value so that's why the cell value has been returned if we decrease this value then we get the this value sometimes we also have to display a metric with their si unit prefix like 10 kg or 15 kilowatt or 15 megawatt etc for that you have to use metric function define the value let's say 2000 and define the unit what you want to represent after the number let's say farad here it show 2 kilo farad similarly you can change with what ordinal positions like first second third you have to use ordinal function define the positions let's say 102 it will return 100 second you can do with anything let's say 12 it will return 12th you can even convert normal value to scientific values for that you have to use scientific function define the value for example and here it return scientific value i hope you get good understanding here let's see how you can manipulate the date and time in humanize according to your need to manipulate date and time first import date time package to convert large value of second to human readable format use natural delta and use time delta from date and time to take a second value here it returns 16 minute you can also play with the date and time you just have to use natural day function let's say date time now 
it return today you can also modify the date to the human readable format just you have to use natural date function and pass the date by using date function from date and time and here it return jan 12 2023 as a readable format similarly you can play with the time as well just use natural time method and pass the time using time delta and here a return in the human readable format you can also use precise time as well like microsecond or millisecond just you have to use precise delta function first we define the time delta by using time delta method define the second value also define the microseconds now use precise delta method and pass this time delta here it will concise the values in the human readable format now if you want precise unit use minimum unit parameter and pass microsecond here it will return 1 hour 1 millisecond just like we define the formats in number you can achieve the same here as well find the formats this way you can add the format just like the number and the time we can also modify the file size according to human readable format you just have to use natural size method from humanize and pass the size value here it will convert the value of file from byte to mb if you add more it will transform into gb i hope you get good understanding about the humanize and you can use in your day to day work that's all from my side thank you